I'm going to tell you this one more story, and then I'm going to get out of the way, and I'm going to listen to Steve and Tom and Rocky and everybody else. I'm anticipating having a very good time about six minutes from now. When I was 10 years old, when I was 10 years old, we used to meet up. We used to meet up after supper. Supper is what southern people eat right when the sun goes down, in case you didn't know that. We used to meet up right after supper in Art Adams' front yard. And we would go there, and we would lay there on our backs in the grass. There on that little slope side in his front yard, we'd lay on our backs and we'd look up and we would watch one by one by one, we would watch the stars come out. I don't think kids do that so much anymore, but we did all summer. And every, every now and then, every now and then, what would happen? Every now and then, what would happen? It's like, hey, hey, look, what? And somebody else was, yeah, I, I see it, I see it. And, and, and one of those, one of them would be moving. It would move across the sky, and it would, and yeah, me too. And then right about the time that, that every kid had seen it, it would, it would have tracked over here and just, disappeared. Of course, what we were looking at back then, what we were looking at, we were looking at one of the early communication satellites that the boys from down in Cape Canaveral had launched up into orbit. It was very exciting to see one of those satellites back then. It really was um, everything seemed like it was exciting back then. <laughs> nowadays, nowadays, if you know how to look, if you've done it, if you know how to look, if you go out like into the middle of the Arco Desert when the moon's not out, and if you look up, you can sometimes see three or four or maybe five of these satellites all at once. But back in 1969, there was like seven of them for the whole planet, which is one of the main reasons why the TV reception was so good back then. <laughs> and it's why long distance phone calls were so cheap and easy to make. I remember, I remember, Karen Shea, Karen Shea, I remember she said, she said that if you was the first kid to see one of those satellites, if you were the first kid to see one of those satellites of a Georgia evening, that meant, without a doubt, that you were going to grow up to be famous. And it occurs to me when I, it occurs to me right now that I have not, I have neither seen nor heard from or about Little Miss Karen Shea in over 45 years. I mean, maybe she's up on one of those satellites, you know? I mean, it could be. This story is for anybody who creates anything, any kind of art, doesn't matter what it is, music or writing or singing, dancing, sculpting or making mud pies or whatever, it doesn't matter. Any kind of creative activity just for the sake of doing it. You know, because that's who you are and that's what you do. Because I don't think I have to remind any of y'all 
most of us don't get to be big bright stars by doing this kind of thing. No, I figure we're all a lot more like those satellites that Karen Shea and I used to search so hard for. stars that are so easy to see. But the best part about it, the thing that makes it worthwhile is the, the only people, the only people that get to see us are thems that takes the time to look and listen. I'd like to thank y'all very much for listening to me tonight. I can't tell you how much fun it is doing this when people actually pay attention. I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Next time I'll listen to you. First woman astronaut used to stay in bed and cry for days depression like a veil a little makeup then she danced the night away a fallen star for Salome Galileo had his way that's the price you He takes his guitar out and walks up to the stage and starts to play. Sometimes someone listens to his voice, but few are hearing what he says. Not the best place to look for stars. Hope you didn't have to drive too far given what we are we're satellites in a satellite sky Jenny can't let go some people cling to nothing till their fingers bleed Take our chances later, Bobby tells her as the waitress sees them leave. Let's break some rules and leave this bar. Roll the top back off your car. Get lost among the stars with a satellite. Satellite sky. the circle squared off by the rope of popularity the truth will set you free but know that happiness is never guaranteed a 
over street lights I can see between Orion and the Pleiades shining down on me a satellite from the satellite sky satellite from a satellite sky satellite from a satellite sky satellite from a satellite sky thanks a lot y'all appreciate it really good. Andrew Wills, everybody.